2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara. I am transmitting on a secure channel in the most dire of circumstances. The Pentagon is under attack from an unknown enemy. As of this moment, I am safely ensconced inside a janitor's closet. Unfortunately, I fear the President and the VIPs may not have found similar safe haven. From what I have observed, our attackers may be blighted by some kind of sickness. Either that or they're just dirty hippies under the influence of hallucinogenic substances. I can only hope that this message will bring rescue. Until then, please, pray for me. Whatever it is, it can wait. I specifically requested that I not be disturbed under any circumstances. This meeting is of paramount importance, and I must ensure every detail is planned to perfection. I'm sorry. Did I not make myself crystal clear? This meeting will literally, and I mean literally, change the course of history. Perhaps you're familiar with the term mutually assured destruction. Well, this meeting aims to render that concept obsolete. So I ask you nicely, leave me be. Why are you so damned persistent? What on earth could possibly be more important than my work? No. Oh. I know what it is. If this is about the broken server, we are aware of the issue, and we will have it fixed by Tuesday. So if there's nothing else, please, leave me in peace. Good heavens, man! Have you no reason? Are you deaf? Can you not comprehend the importance of my work? This isn't just America's fight, it is the world's fight. Wait a minute. Purnell, is that you? Damn it, Purnell, if you don't leave me alone, I will have you removed from Groom Lake. I don't give a damn about what the company has to say about it. You know better than to bother me at this hour. Unbelievable. nightmares here. Did the Americans really continue experimentation? <laughs> May your gas never torture another... <laughs>
Listen. Kill them. Adios. Mother.